We're very thankful that you're here today. Sister Nikki Brooks last uh, Sunday night gave her heart and soul to Christ. She yeah. truly got born again. She truly got saved. Amen. And so uh, she uh, came forward Wednesday night and presented herself as a candidate for baptism and membership here at Van Zor Baptist Church. And so as always, we read what the scriptures say about baptism. Uh, being obedient to what Christ says, and many times in scripture says, repent and be you baptized uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. But, uh, Jesus Christ himself was baptized in the book of Matthew chapter 3. And it, it fulfilled in verse 15. It said, he said, allow it to be so, or, or suffer it to be so now, as he was, John the Baptist is going to baptize him, see, because it fulfills all righteousness. Then he suffered him, which means that, that he allowed it. <clears throat> Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway up out of the water, and the heavens were open unto him. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Lo, a voice of heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Uh, if you've given your heart and soul to Christ and you've never been baptized, you need to do that the first thing. Amen? Amen. You need to be obedient to his commandment and it's going to fulfill what God's word has designed for you. But Romans chapter 6 explains baptism. And we want to make sure that our folks understand that baptism does not save you. Yeah. Baptism Amen. is a profession of faith of what Christ did in your life and the old you goes under the water to represent the grave just like Christ rose again, uh, we don't hold our folks under. Amen? Amen? We raise you right back up just like God raised his son Christ right back up. So <coughs> Romans chapter 6 verse 1 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we're buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For that he died, he died in the sin once, and he lives, he lives unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Savior, I baptize you, my sister, and in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 